Hello everyone. In this video, we have solved a nice math Olympiad question. This question is 1 over a plus 1 over v is equal to 1 over 13. a plus v is equal to what? Here is a and v is a positive integer. a is greater than 0 and v is greater than 0. So first of all, we will find out a and v is equal to what? Then we will find out a plus v is equal to what? So how to solve this algebraic expression? So first of all, I can see the our question. It will be 1 over a plus 1 over v is equal to 1 over 13. It's okay. Now, first of all, I multiply both sides by a v. So 1 over a plus 1 over v is equal to a v times 1 over 13. I multiply both sides by a v. Now, at this moment, a v times 1, it will be a v. So I consider this expression. It will be a v over a plus a v times 1. It will be a v over v is equal to a v over 13. So this time this will be this. Now in this expression, you can see uh, this, this cancel out, this, this cancel out. We'll find out here is a nice equation b plus a is equal to a v over 13. Now I multiply both sides by 13, so I can say 13 times b plus a is equal to a v over 13 times 13. Then this this cancel out, we will find out here is 13 v plus 13 a is equal to a v. Now at this moment you can say that this expression, it will be a v is equal to 13v plus 13a. Now, if I move on this below, this below, in this side, it will be negative. So, I can say really, here is av minus 13v minus 13a is equal to 0. Now, at this moment here, av minus 13v minus 13a, I add here is 169 and again I subtract 169 is equal to 0. So, okay. Now, at this moment, you can see easily here is look a v minus 13 v. Here is b is common. So, I take here is b is common. So, it will be a minus 13 minus and in this expression. You can see here is 13 is common. So, this I divide this, it will be positive a minus minus it will be positive plus minus will be negative. This divide this, it will be 13. And if I move on this blue in this side, it will be positive 169. It's okay. Now, at this moment, you can see easily here is a minus 13 is common. So it will be a minus 13. And this divide this, it will be v. And this divide this, it will be 13 is equal to 169. Now, I find out the factor here 169. So, and we know that a and v is a positive integer. So I can see easily 169. Uh, it will be 1 times 169. This is our first case. And other case, I can say 169 times 1. This is our other case. And third case, I can say it will be 13 times 13. It is also 169. So we'll find out here is three case. So first case, uh, we'll find out here is a minus 13 is equal to 1. This time, b minus 13 it will be 169 so okay this is our first case and in this expression you can see here is a is equal to 14 if i move on this 13 in this side 1 plus 13 it will be 14 and if i move on this 13 in this side it will be 169 plus 13 and i can see it will be 182 so our question a plus v is equal to what? So I can say here is a plus v, it will be 14 plus 182, it will be 196. This is our final answer. And again, we'll find out other case here is a minus b, a minus, sorry, 13, it will be 169. And other case, we'll find out b minus 13, it will be 1. I follow this case, second case. Now, at this moment, you can see here is a is equal to 182 
and v is equal to 14. Then if I add both fellow, I mean a plus v is equal to what? This is our question. So 182 plus 14, I can say that it will be 196. This is our final answer. Again, we'll find out here is 13, 13, both are equal. So okay. So a minus 13, number 3 case, this is number 2 case, and it will be 13. And other case we'll find out here is v minus 13, it will be 13. So you can see really here is a is equal to 26 and v is equal to 26. So in this expression, in this case, you can see really a plus v 26 plus 26. I mean 26 plus 26, it will be 52. So this is our final answer. So our final answer is 52 and 196. This is our final answer in this algebraic problem. Thank you all. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care.